Hey guys, what's going on? So, it is Saturday, and we don't normally do live streams on Saturday, but, you know, I'm going to try to get more live streams going here to uh, get the channel a lot more active on top of the videos, because I actually love doing live streams, and last night's Way of the Hunter stream got cut short, unfortunately, due to the weather. Um, I'm going to try to make that up sometime today. We're going to try to get a uh, Way of the Hunter stream in there today. I think I think we can do it. We're getting um, this early enough. So I have not been on this map at all. This is the brand new uh, Can Canadian map on Snow Under Season 9. And hmm, those trees look kind of blobby. You know what I mean? Kind of like uh, I remember this happened one time before. And is that snow or is that particles from the fires? It kind of looks like the particles from the fires. So I need to see what time of day this is. Uh... This is afternoon. This is late afternoon. Okay, let's let's switch it to morning. There we go. All right, so everything is locked. Um, we can go into the garage. We can't buy anything. We can't upgrade anything. And unfortunately, this is all I have because I had to shut off some mods. Um, I was having an issue with the, the mod browser. But, uh, yeah, we, we should be able to do with this, I'm thinking, just to get this garage up and running. So what we have to do, the fire department, service center. This is the service center here, so we need metal rolls, metal beams, and bricks. In infrastructure restored, trailer store access, and customize. Okay, so let's activate this. And metal rolls are at the warehouse. Metal beams. All right, they're all at the warehouse. Lovely. So it looks like we're going to leave here and take a right. Nice. <clears throat> so what do you guys think about the new map so far? You guys enjoying it or what? Don't uh, don't give me any spoilers about how to do anything because like I said, I haven't played on it yet. This is actually my very first time <laughs> getting on this since the update. So I'm pretty excited. Yeah, those trees look a little strange. They don't look fully rendered or something. Alright, on our way back in SnowRunner. I'm not on the wheel today. I just kind of wanted to chill, relax, sit in my chair and play, kick up my feet a little bit here. Okay, so we have to go to this warehouse. I, uh, I knew that much of it. Alright. We got a nice little town we're entering here. I like this. You know, for a game called Snow Runner, they don't put a ton of snow maps in it, do they? Uh, okay, I do have to consult the map. Oh, the warehouse is back here. Alright, so... Yeah, it does look like we have to turn here, perhaps. So let me know, guys, if uh, if you're watching. Let me know how the sound is, because it sounds a little loud in my ear. I can turn it down on my headset, but I want to make sure it's not really loud on stream. So yeah, that was kind of a crazy storm that we had last night. Thunder and lightning and snow. Luckily, we didn't get a ton of snow, though. That would have been bad, because that was super heavy wet snow. Okay, wait a minute. The warehouse is over there. Is there a road going over to this warehouse? Hmm. is kind of over that way. Well, we'll go across the bridge. Maybe we'll uh, unlock more of the map first. You know, I should have grabbed the scout probably instead. <laughs> but I thought I was going to be able to jump right into the first first job here with no issues. So we'll have to check that out. Now, where does this go, I wonder? Well, that goes up that way. 
Okay, the warehouse is over here. How are you going to have a warehouse with no road to it? Maybe we should have went the other way. Uh, there's another warehouse out this way, though. All right. No. Well, we'll just continue on out this way, I guess, and see what happens. So this is morning. I hope it clears up a little bit. Or I know this is kind of like a forest fire theme, so possibly that smokiness will uh, stay throughout the day. I have no idea. I should note that I am also taking a truck that I don't normally, I don't normally use. Okay, let's let's pick this up since we're here. Might as well. This is a boat launch. Swimming wrong way discovered. Let's check this out. Uh, you know, this dupe had to haul something across the river, but he took the wrong route and got stuck in the rift. Can you please drive there and check if there's anything that can be rescued? Okay, we'll accept it. One thing I've come to know in SnowRunner is that you want to accept these jobs when you get them. Yeah, this, uh, this isn't a truck I normally use. Is this the same? Delivered to the port discovered. Nope, this is a different one. Okay, with everything that happened, the local boaters are overwhelmed. Please bring something to help fix the boats, and we'll pay you back. All right, so where the hell am I going? There's, hmm. This is strange, you know, because there's only... I guess we could have went out that way. Yeah, this is a little odd. Alright, I guess we gotta turn around. Well, this map is a whole lot of interest, isn't it? What is this? That's, that's nothing. There's a trailer full of something. Delivery from Port Discovered. That's the job we just seen, isn't it? Nope. Family living not far from here in the hills. We need to deliver this trailer with cargo. All right. Yeah, we'll do that. Not right now, but we will do that. Now, is this yet another job? No. This must be a delivery spot. All right. All right. We'll run this big loop and head back out, I guess. Hey, thanks for nobody commenting. I appreciate that. <laughs> All right, let's see. Let's do a little in-cab driving here. So what do you guys think the future of this game is going to be? Do you think they're gonna do another season pass or do you think this is the end of it? I'm not so sure, you know. I, I feel like, though, they need to do something with this season pass to uh, kind of get people excited about the game. I feel like there's some things that they need to add to the game that to shake it up, I think, to make it better. I would love to see even more of a, uh, a sim approach to the game. You know, I would love to see the weather on the windshield you know, wipers going, things like that. I still say I would like to see people in the towns. I think that'd be a great addition. Okay, so again, I need to see where I am. Brand new map and all. Let's, uh... Let's zoom out here. Where is... Oh, God, the towers are way out over there. I'm not even... Hmm... Okay. Um, let's okay. Let's let's do something. Let's have a little change of tactics here. Let's uh, let's retain that. Let's go into truck storage, and let's grab this guy. 
because I'm pretty sure. Let's see. Yeah, we have a radar on the top of this. Yeah. So. <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll use this to our advantage here. This map is interesting, man. It's. It's kind of crazy. Alright, let's go out this way. This time and see what's out here. And we'll use our radar. Let's say we really need to figure out how to get over to that warehouse. Okay, let's... Let's use that radar. Is that it? Did, oh yeah, it did. Okay. Sweet. Alright, so this one continues this way. I'm guessing this is where we're going to have to go. Probably to, uh... Unlock the watchtower. Alright. Not bad. Bad. Oops. Put this thing in 4x4. Wow, that, alright. In 4x4, this thing really moves. Yeah, I, uh, you know, I do like to use mods. Let's activate the radar. All right, this one goes around. This, this warehouse, there is, literally, is there no road to get to this warehouse? That is so strange. Um, man, it doesn't look like there's anything there, so we'll have to just take this road around, I guess. a job or something. Let's pick this up quick. Abandoned transport discovered. Can you imagine? I worked in the middle of the fire and when it got really hot, I ran away and left my car behind. Luckily it wasn't in the fire. Could you please bring it here for a price, obviously. Alright. We can do that. Looks like we have a tanker over there that we can grab for something. So this is always the way when you get a new map. It's always the uh, dis discovery mode first, right? Unlocking it, figuring out where to go. It seems like it's been a while since we've had a map where we've had to repair bridges. That just seems like the, uh, the snow runner way. Yeah, this, uh, this little Tuz is doing a good job. Looks like we have to unlock the uh, the vehicles for the DLC. Okay, let's check the map here. Okay, yeah, this is going to go around. Let's scan the area. That didn't do anything, did it? Hmm. I don't know if that radar is not working. Or what? It doesn't seem to be giving us any uh any broader of an area though. So we will just continue down. I will say the trees in the distance don't look. Yeah, they're they're rendering in a little late it seems. This happened once before. I forget. I forget on uh. What map that came out? I usually get these things straightened out. Okay. You know, I'm almost wondering if they're kind of running out of things to do. Oh, wait, what is this? No, okay, this isn't. This must be somewhere we have to deliver to. Look at that. I wouldn't mind living there right on that nice little lake. There's a big tree in a row. Let's get over that. There we go. All right. Now we have to go through this, this rocky pass here. Oof. Yeah, 
man. This is uh This is a pretty good map, man. This has everything on it so far. Whoa! Hmm. That hasn't happened to me in a very long time. Okay, so we have an automated winch, but that's not gonna help me. Ah, uh, crap. Come on, just get a flip, baby, get a flip. Um, hmm. there we go. No, 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 don't. Okay. What I may have to do here is let's put this in a lower gear because she's kind of jumpy on the acceleration. One thing I really wish they would have done, I wish they would have incorporated the, uh, the adaptive triggers where we could kind of just feather the gas better on PS5, but instead they uh, they didn't do that. They didn't utilize that. You know, that's one thing I could say. All of these games uh, that are coming out, they just really don't utilize these controllers to the fullest, and it's uh, it's it's really sad. Horizon Dawn Forbidden West, they did a hell of a job, but that's a Sony game. Um, I get another Sony game, Gran Turismo 7. They do a good job with it. I was really surprised to see Way of the Hunter added in. And it, it's pretty cool when you pull the trigger, you feel that resistance. I think games like this would really benefit from the adaptive triggers. And that's one of the reasons why you see a lot of people talking about, you know, they really want these games to start focusing on next gen. It's because it really is holding a lot of these games back by keeping them on PS4. What is this now? This is pretty cool. That's water. Okay. So let's see here. Abandoned transport. There's that there. There's a road over here. And then there's this road here. Hmm. Well. I guess. We'll just keep taking this road out. This is a tricky method to find your way around, man. I'm not gonna lie. So come on, guys. I got three people watching. Can I at least get one like? One like. That's all I'm asking. It's absolutely free. Doesn't cost you anything. And it really helps my, my, little, my little channel out a lot. Hey, Kel. Thank you, my friend. I appreciate that. I hope you're having a great Saturday. Ah, okay. Now we got something here. We got some nice moving water here. Um, is that a bridge over there? It kind of looks like it. Let me... Just see here, the road does continue over there. Okay. So let's see here. 
Yeah, no problem, man. Um, ooh, you know what? Actually... Let's, uh, put it back in auto. And I think we're gonna cross over here. This looks like the safer spot. Yeah, this doesn't look too deep. Yeah, right here is going to be perfect. Except I'm going to get stuck on the rocks. Whoa. Don't tip, don't tip, don't tip. Come on, let's... Hmm. Okay. Maybe we can go around this way. These rocks are slippery or something. I could not get I got the traction. There we go. There we go. Whew. Back on dry land. Nice. This map looks good, man. I I don't think any of the maps that they've made really don't look good. They're all done pretty well, I think. Just with this map, I really don't know where I'm going. <laughs> uh, ooh, what is that down there? I don't think I want to go down there. Let's see, is that? No, that's not the tower. Damn. That looks like a tower. I'm thinking I should have took that road over there now. Oh boy, okay. And I still have no idea how to get over to that warehouse. Oh, man. Take it easy down here. I don't want to flip over again. I wonder how... Okay. We're doing alright on fuel. Yeah, those trees definitely aren't rendering in right. They almost look cell shaded. You know, for as long as this game's been out, you think they would have it down by now. How to, how to fix that. Okay. Which way to go? Oh, we're getting further away from all of these towers. Damn it, there was one right there. Let's, uh, let's try this radar. I really wish it would tell me. It does, and I don't think the radar is working, to be honest with you. So, let's go up here, I guess. I kind of have a feeling this is a dead end. It looks like this might be a job or something up in here. I have no idea. Well, this is definitely something. Well, this is a, another road, so let's, let's take this road to see where it goes. This is a tricky map, just trying to figure out how to get around it, where things go. I can't believe I haven't gotten to at least one watchtower yet, that's crazy.
I'll switch back and forth between inside and outside. Kind of the best of both worlds. Ooh. Just ran right into that tree. Hmm. A lot of varied... Varied areas in here, isn't there? going even I have no clue man I hope we have extra gas on this hmm boy I have no idea I don't know if I should well there's a tower out that way so we are going to go this way towards that tower I guess oh so we are getting into the area now where the forest fighter was. That's... That's something. That's interesting. Wow, they did a good job with that, though. That looks really good. Well, wait a minute. Maybe not. Yeah, some of it looks... I thought that was, but maybe it's not now. Because... She's at least... Come on, first watchtower. Oh, now we got a main road here. Um, let's back this way. This is this is a tunnel. Yep. Okay, we got at least unlock that tower. <laughs> this is ridiculous, man. We're going to see the whole map just trying to unlock the first tower. Oh, wow. Yeah, look at all this. This is crazy. This reminds me of uh, Yukon Valley. And Call of the Wild. That part with the, uh, the burnt forest. Tunnel. <laughs> All right. So where the hell is this tower? Please tell me I'm going the right way. Yeah, this is definitely the forest that was burned out. It has to be. Look at it. Yeah, like I said, man, I'm going to look at this whole map just trying to get the first tower unlocked. Oh, I can see the tower. I see the tower finally. Uh... No, I look to smoke. The tower's right over there. Um, boy, I don't know, man. Yeah, it's it's got to be through here. Let's see, maybe, maybe we go around this place. So it doesn't look like we can get through it. Now with the building there anyway. Oh, tree stumps! Get the hell out of my way. Oh, there may have been a road back there that we can we can go. I should have probably tried it. I didn't want to back up and turn around though. I mean, it's right there, the tower. I can see it. Oh boy! Okay. I should have brought the tatter in. <laughs> That's my mistake. Uh, well, we'll try it. I brought the wrong tuz. Wrong tuz for the job. Maybe not. This thing is doing pretty good. Come on, baby, get some traction. Can I take these trees down? Yep. Sweet. Okay. Go in the wrong direction. We need to go up. 
deer. And all that just to unlock one tower. Wow. That's something. That is something. All right, let's have it do its thing. Okay, let's check out this map now. Uh, we got a trailer there. Ooh, we have an upgrade over here. Where this map? This map is pretty damn big, isn't it? Yep, it is. We have this one else here that I still have no idea how to get to. God, are you gonna tell me we have to get through there? That is a bad spot for a warehouse, man. Hmm. We are way the hell up here. Ha! Huh. Sorry I'm being quiet, guys. It's just I'm I'm trying to figure out how the hell I'm supposed to do this. Um Okay, let's let's recover. Let's get uh let's get this guy back out. What time is it? It's already that late in the afternoon? I started in the morning, are you serious? Wow, that wow, okay. <laughs> time went by so fast. Okay, so here's the warehouse. We need to figure out how to get to this warehouse. That looks horrible. Possibly through there? Hmm. This is interesting. Who the hell would have a warehouse that you can't get to? Well, that makes no sense. town again. Turn our weak ass headlights on. What is wait a minute, you know what? There's a road. Let's go back to morning. There's a road here. Where does this go? <laughs> Jesus Christ. All this time there was a road that goes to the back of the warehouse. It was even marked. Just this little sad road. Wow. What the hell kind of warehouse is this? Yeah, this is the road to it. You know what I mean? This isn't because of a fire. This is just, this is the road to it. Or lack thereof. Ah, well, <laughs> at least we made it to the warehouse, guys. That's that's the most important thing here. All right. Okay. So what do we need? Wait a minute. We need two metal rolls, two metal beams, and two bricks. Okay. planks, metal beams, oh, we can only get one of those, cabin, metal rolls, oh, 
Okay, so we're gonna only be able to get a couple things at a time. And there's no trailers to open yet. So, we're just gonna have to do it. The old fashioned way. Not a big deal. That's the name of the game, right? You know, there was a time we didn't have mods in SnowRunner. And I don't think this truck is a mod. Maybe it is. I can't remember. I don't know. I don't think it is. This isn't. This is a vanilla truck. That is very unlike me. But I don't really have a choice. <laughs> because the garage isn't open, so... These are the only vehicles I have. We'll, uh, we'll change that once we get this garage up and running. I can't even customize anything. <laughs> so yeah, we gotta get the station up and running, man. So what would you guys like to see them go next? Or does it really not matter? I know, personally me, I don't really think it matters where they go. I mean, it still does depending on what you're talking about, right? For this game, it just means kind of base game vehicles. But it still kind of has the same meaning. It still kind of means boring. <laughs> So we should be able to get both bricks. Um, then we're going to need to take two trips for the beams. Wait. Yep. That road, man. That road is easy to pass. So easy to pass. I wish I had one of the big twin steers and I could get a couple of these, but we don't even have a trailer right now, so that's unfortunate. Luckily, it's not that far to go. By the time we're done with this, we'll, uh, we'll be pros at getting to... Are we stuck? mind a little bit of help. Okay, so now we need bricks. <laughs> Alrighty. righty. 
So they've, uh, they've really made it interesting when you don't have any trailers to work with in the beginning because you had to make all these trips. I guess this is one of the reasons why multiplayer... You guys, why do I keep getting stuck here? I didn't get stuck here in the first time. Let's, uh... I mean, I get that it's probably the weight. Hmm. Like I say, the uh, the first time we didn't have this problem. Our souls metal rolls probably don't weigh as much as these bricks. I would imagine. And every time we go through that, that mud hole, we're just digging it up and making it deeper, aren't we? So we're going to have to make two more trips. Unfortunately. We're not going to get both of them, it'll be, well, uh, we had the crane, so we might be able to, yeah, we might be able to, we'll see what we can do, it's not that far to go. I don't really like double stacking. Although, it's something that in this in this game that I wish you could do. It makes sense. Like, these bricks, you can definitely stack another pallet of bricks on top here. All right. Let's take those off. Metal beams, metal rolls. Okay. Now we'll get those metal beams. You know, is there a spot that we can get them with the crane? I'm not so sure. We'll have to check that out. Let's see if I uh, if I can get this road right this time. Should be right after this guardrail. Yeah, the sign is. This is the stupidest road to a warehouse, I swear to God. They must do a hell of a business. Uh, let's put it in low. Get flock. Try to get through here without the help of the winch. Come on, baby. You can do it. Get a little bit more solid ground. If we get at least one wheel up on solid ground, yeah. There we go. Now we're stuck on a rock. The rocks in this game are probably the worst. Yeah, that big rock right there. I swear, sometimes I wish we could really just get out of the truck and move some of these things. Maybe in the next game. I don't think they'll, they'll ever add that to this game. It would be nice, but I don't think so. Okay. 
So let's see here, truck. Small pipes. No, not pipes. Metal beams. There we go. Loading platform. Okay. Um, if I can remember how to do this. Let's get the cranes. Uh, wait a minute. There we go. It's been a while, guys. It's been a while. So what we'll do is we'll extend that out. Stack it on top here. Like I say I, I don't generally like to do this, but it is a workaround, so we don't have to. Come out here again. Like I said it's not that far, but I'll try it. a little unfortunate because like I said we don't have far to go we could definitely strap these down Now, <laughs> this is going to be so heavy. I'm really worried about bringing it through this swampy area. Let's just put it in low. Put the diff lock on. We're super top heavy. Ooh, speaking of. God. This isn't going to end well. And I think if I try to winch, it'll disconnect the, uh, the cranes. Maybe not. We're, we're getting there. He's moving forward. Hey, kill switch. What's going on, man? How have you been, buddy? Come on, baby. You can do it. Yes. Come on. Just a little more. Ha <laughs> ha. Beautiful. Whew. Okay. So if we could just get this to the main road, oh boy. IKEA? Never been to an IKEA. We don't have any IKEAs around here. This, this is hairy. It's all just weight on. You can see the trucks just bouncing. Like I said, I'm so glad we don't have far to go with this. Come on, baby. 
getting stuck on a rock. Hey, have a good one, man. We're going to be streaming later. Way of the Hunter, if you're interested, man. Stop in and say hi. Oh my god, this is all over the road. This thing does not like this one little bit. Which I can understand that. This is this is quite the quite the load here. God, I don't even like this. Look at this thing swing back and forth. Ah. Uh. Just a little farther. Just a little farther. Now, I think I have to take this top one off before it'll register the bottom one. But maybe not. We'll, we'll uh, try it. Oof. Uh, middle beams. Okay, nice. So now what we can just do is that there. And then... Pack the cargo. There we go. Infrastructure restored. Sweet. Good start. You can now buy vehicles and trailers and tune them as well. Oh, and of course, a small token of our appreciation. Nice. 10,550 cash, 1150 XP. Show rewards. Truck store, trailer store, customized, refuel, and repair. Nice. Okay. So let's. Restore the crane. Awesome. Trailer store. Nice. Oh, I like that. They, uh, they did it differently. Yeah, I'm digging that. All right, let's stop in here, though. And let's get a different vehicle. Truck store. We want to go to Scouts because there is a new mod that I want to try. And yeah, it's these right here. This isn't the. Uh... Is this the new mod truck? Yeah, yeah. Let's let's take this one, man. I like this one. So let's get this all customized here. This is the one that it was taking forever to come out, but I believe they did a lot of cool things with the suspension. There's a lot of different suspensions with this, and that was why. But the fact that they managed to get it out is uh, pretty crazy. So stock diesel, red line, heavy tow, trail rider diesel, trail rider diesel, 100,000 found put. Um, Stockish, I, I like that. Uh, boy, I don't know which one... Dude, these all seem pretty decent. A plus. Let's let's put that one in. Gearbox, low and slow crawler. Uh, stock is six speed. Ten speed, five speed, trail runner. Uh, faster trailblazing when paired with trail runner tuned engine. Ah, uh, let's just go with uh the six speed for now. Suspension. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah, there's a ton of I've never seen a mod with this much suspension before. Holy crap. Uh start for forty inch tires. Really want we want I don't want to go too insane, I don't think. Tremor three. Wow, the, there's a lot to choose from. Hauler, crawler, and runner. Let let's do the trail crawler. I think this is the crawler setup of the bunch. Also has active lift. Okay, yeah, let, let's try this one. Tires. Let's see here. Okay. Oh wow, all these tires are excellent for mud, off road, on road. 
And they have chained for... Okay, so... Cheater, Redline. Um, I'm going to have to say the Cheater are probably OP. These all seem a little OP, though. I'm just going to choose ones I like the looks of, to be honest with you. I like to try to those. I think we'll... Mm, no, I kind of like those, too. We'll take those. Winch. Uh, we know the 12 volt trail runner. Okay, we'll take that. Diff lock. Yes. All right. Visuals. Let's see what they have here. Okay. Rear stack bumper license plate. Interior various. Oh, wow. There's. Okay. Rectangle bed cover. I kind of like that. We'll do that. I for parts and accessories, LED, rock sliders. Yes. Uh, yes. Tow and haul. Whoa, holy crap. Okay, I don't think we're going to do any of that yet. We're going to use this for scouting today. Adaptive chassis and exhaust. What in the world is all this? This is crazy. Exhaust smoke. No, we don't want that. Light smoke. Okay, that's what already has that. Wow. This is insane. This mod is something. Damage control and goodies. Damage control max. One click damage control significantly reduces the collision damage. Goodies. Fuel tank. Repair. Oh, wow. This is really awesome I think we're going to go with the bead lock what does that say Yellowstone Dutton Ranch I wonder if we have that I like that we're going to go with that one so wait a minute I thought no I guess not I thought it was like a uh for the box. Huh. All right, so let's let's take this thing out. Well, I cannot wait to take a look at this thing. Oh, this looks so good, man. Diamond Peak Fire Rescue. Attack 1911. Wow, I like this a lot. Let's take a look at the interior. Holy crap. This is so freaking detailed. <laughs> there's there's no way that that camera works, right? There's no way. <gasps> what? The backup camera works? Are you serious? What are the options here? Activate radar, tailgate, retractable bed cover, hood, change suspension mode. Okay. Hood, oh my god. Yo, this is insane. Oh man. That is too good. That is too freaking good. Wow. Really good job to the modder that did this. I gotta say, this is amazing. Okay, so where do we want to go? We gotta open things up. How do we get out to here? There's nothing out there. Uh, well, let's go back out that way, I guess. <laughs> it's got a hell of a horn on it. 
this has a radar as well. Wow, this is this is this is a nice mod. The light smoke is a nice touch. A little uh a little crazy with the driving. And maybe the suspension I chose. Because I did choose the uh, crawler suspension, I probably should have chose maybe a hauler suspension. Or maybe a runner suspension. That's alright. We'll uh we'll definitely have a play around with this and, and tweak things. Well, we got the gas station there. So let's just see here. Does the radar on this work? Hmm. Does it seem to? Here the end is shifting through the controller and it's that's pretty wild. Yeah, I should definitely chill the different suspension for this though. Ooh. No, let's let's see how it does here. This is crawler suspension, so oh god. <laughs> wow, not an issue at all. That's crazy. That is so good. That is so good. Plant. Um, I said we might hook up at that. There is no tower out here at all. There's a tower there. There. There's only two more towers. And we're not near either one of them. seeing this online. Oh, that's cool. Look at that. That is really cool, man. I think we're going to go out this way. See, that that really makes you want to be able to get out of the truck. It's funny. I feel like in every driving sim, the number one request is to be able to get out of the vehicle. So, what's down there? Anything? Now, we're gonna go right across and open this stuff up. Nice map. I like the map. This is... This is a really good mod, man. I'm really enjoying this truck. Oh, hey, look at that. Speaking about bridges. Broken bridge discovered. Following this highway any further will be a problem unless we fix this bridge. We could have done it ourselves, but all of this fire havoc messed up our plans. So you help us. Alright, let's see here. Let's start tracking this one. Let's go to the menu and take a look. Broken bridge. Metal beams. We only need one of the metal beams. How many concrete blocks and are all at the warehouse? So this is definitely doable, and I think we could probably even do it with this truck. Metal beams and concrete. Yeah, let's uh, let's recover. Let's leave the garage. Uh, 
and the lights. Oh, you know what? Let me change the suspension first. I don't think we need the crawler suspension on this thing. Yeah. Customize. Suspension. What do we have? 44 inch. Trail hauler. Let's do that one there. There we go. I'm hoping this suspension will be much better. Oh yeah, it is. Wow, what a difference. What a freaking difference. Okay, let's see here. Uh, what is that? Advertisement trailer at 100k. Interesting, okay. Um, what trailer do we want for this? That's a big trailer. That's too big. Three slot. I, hmm, metal beams, are they two slot? I think they are. I think they are. Okay. Let's get that. Let's go back to our favorite spot, the warehouse. Turn the lights back on. Let's see how this truck fares to that swamp. I gotta feel this is gonna do a lot better. Hard to say with the trailer on the back of it. Still, the one thing this game needs to really work on are the physics on the asphalt. No matter what, it feels like you're driving on ice. Very skaty. Put our 4x4 on. Say, I'm just worried about that trailer getting hooked up on the rocks. That seems to happen a lot in this game. So far, so good with this truck, though. Come on, baby, you can do it. Yep. <laughs> yeah, she's not having a problem. A little bit there, but nothing too bad. Kinda see if we can just cut this right around here. Okay, so middle beams. Yeah, middle beams and concrete, right? Wait a minute. I need to go back and see here. Broken bridge. Concrete blocks. Does it have concrete blocks? Package sand, bricks. Concrete blocks. There we go. Nice. We were able to get that. Uh, let's see here. Can this suspension be raised? Raid radar. Change suspension. Leg wheel. Wait, what happened? Why does that... Oh, I don't have the hitch on this. What is the leg wheel? Wait a minute. I have no idea. All right. Oh, wow, this this pickup is a freaking beast, man. Even with this weight on the back of it, it's uh, it's getting through here fine.
I didn't even have to engage the diplock. Incredible. Whoa. I want to go up over those rocks. That old trailer is bouncing. anything did I no perfect Let's take a look in the cab here oh wow look at you can even see the freaking metal beams man I cannot believe that they got that backup camera working on console you know these modders they never cease to amaze me and I swear to god they seem to be able to do things that developers can't. This is just proof of that. That is so cool. that bridge, right? Yeah. Yeah. We can just right over this. I'm more concerned about the trailer than I am the truck. I don't want to lose any of this cargo. No, we're good. I got a log in the middle of the road there. Yeah, and it would be nice if you could step out of the truck and pick that up. Okay, here's the roundabout. I'm guessing this is the Albany River. That's pretty cool. Okay. Metal beans. Love that. That looks so cool. And the blocks. Alright, we'll accept. Now the problem is, is I have this trailer behind me still. That's alright. There's another warehouse there. And, uh, oh wow. Okay, this is going to connect everything up there. What if we turn on that radar now? Will that... No, it doesn't. It doesn't do anything. Hmm, all right. It's a little strange. You know, I like the way the game looks at night. I just feel like time passes way too quickly in this game. You know, and I understand that like on New Game Plus you can switch it to where it's daylight all the time, but I really wish they would just add something where we can control how fast time passes. I think that would be the most ideal. Uh, what do we have up here? Oh, this is interesting. Look at this. Okay, this is this is kind of cool. I like them adding stuff like this. Paying attention to detail, man. I like that. Oh, here's the tunnel. Uh, what is this 
here? Is this going to tell me? This passage seems to be blocked for now. All right. That's cool. I didn't really want to go there anyway. I didn't want to leave the map yet. Oh, this is just a turnaround. Okay, let me take a look at this map then. So, you can't get... You can. This side road, it looks like. Yeah, it goes all the way down there to the upgrade. Hmm. Gateway to Burned Forest. Oh, okay. So maybe... Maybe the forest isn't here yet. Alright. Let's, uh... Let's drop the trailer off here. I'm not too concerned about that trailer. And let's uh, let's change time again. There we go. Boy, the morning isn't very bright here, is it? It's kind of cloudy all the time. The lights on. Here. Will this get cut over to that road? You know, I think it can. Let's uh, let's try it and see. We probably went down there. Yeah, we should probably went down that way. That's all right. Looks like a trail of some kind. That's that looks like a big rock. Hey, CBB Gaming, is that truck on hot? Uh, I don't know what you're talking about, man. Yeah, yeah, I'm on PS5. I'm playing on PS5 as we speak. This is the Mega Cab HD standard. I would definitely say check it out. What does the sign say? Tunnel Warehouse. Okay. Yep, this road goes right down. Maybe we can grab this, this upgrade down here. Yeah, I would have to say this is one of the coolest mods I've seen come out on this game yet. And I've been playing this game since the very beginning. there okay so this is a freaking road of some kind <laughs> uh, okay let's listen oh my god it's just as fast in low gear that's uh that's a little crazy all right let's do that this is nice and shallow. Here's the road. Oh, just like it's always on. Nice. Okay, I see the road over there. Looks like the road goes here. Um, hmm. Huh. I'm not so sure I like the looks of that, you know? Maybe go this way. Let's not flip it. Perfect. 
beautiful. So yeah, this definitely looks like dirt forest. So how do I get over... Oh, I should have went over that way, I guess. Wait a minute. Uh... There's the bridge. You know, we can... We can take this road right around and pick up that upgrade. Whole ambient sounds in the background. I feel like branches breaking and stuff. Kind of reminds you of Way of the Hunter when you hear the animals and stuff running away. Look at this. Yeah, this is all burnout forest. Man, kind of eerie, you know? Fire is such a powerful thing, man. So scary, too. I'm sure this building is going to be tied to a mission because it is still smoking, which is pretty cool that they added that in the game. Look at that. I'll bet this is going to be something that we're going to have to bring back. Uh, yeah, I should have went around. Well, I think we can go through this. Should be able to. Just smash our way through. Ah, uh, wait, that upgrade is across the bridge. It's literally right at the end of the railroad bridge. This is gonna be tricky. Driving on railroad tracks. Yeah, see? I don't know if we can do this. If we can get it on the bridge, we should be all right, I think. Yeah, I think we'll be fine. And yeah, we'll just kind of straddle the tracks. Well, I, I tried to. That was the plan, anyway. This is a crazy spot for an upgrade, not going to lie. Active, not available for per truck, obviously. So truck list. Dairy special, so that's the uh That's the truck here, we gotta find it. I have no idea where that is. But uh we'll, we'll find it. I said we still have two towers to unlock. Give me one sec, guys, while I just grab a quick drink here. There we go. Gotta keep hydrated. So now the question is, where do I go from here? I want to go back the way I came. Hmm. Interesting that there's a lake up there. Um, I guess we're really going to put this thing to its. I see a shallow crossing right there. Excellent. Island. 
go over in here, I think. Yep, yeah, there's a road. So... Wait a minute. That's where I am? Make you have standard. That's odd. So I guess we'll go this way. Hmm. Boy, this feels like a freaking huge map. Wait a minute. I'm there. Oh, yeah, I see. Okay. Let's go this way. Wait, I already went this way, didn't I? Yeah, that's that's fine. Go back up this way and we'll catch that road over there. That worked out beautifully. So we'll catch this road coming up here. That should bear off to the left. Yep. Yeah, we went right last time. So now we'll go off this way. A little damage there. This is, this is going to be a fun map. Fun couple of maps. Okay, now where do we want to go? Yeah, we'll veer off. Veer off in this direction here. I forgot how uh, how long it took just to uncover a map. That's cool. We did a couple jobs so far. Wide open wilderness. I mean, a lot of nothing out here. Let's take a look at the map now. Okay, we got that middle section cleared. Yeah, looking pretty good. So let's uh let's take a look at the jobs that we have here. Restoring the water tower one, restoring the water tower two, exploring the burnt out the burned out infrastructure. Visit zone one, zone two, zone three, and the fourth zone. That's where we were, that's that building that's burning. See, I knew that was gonna have something to do with that. Uh restoring the water tower one. We need a cabin and two metal rolls. And restoring the water tower. Two. Cabin. And small pipes. And that water tower is right there. Alright, we are going to have our work cut out for us. Look at all the jobs on just this one contract. We have the Ontario Administration. Sawmill renovation. For the land, for of care, let there be road, timber for the locals, and then we have William Hughes Mining. Okay, so listen, the fire department is the biggest one we have. All right, so we have our work cut out for us, guys. But I think that's where I'm going to end this stream. I'm getting a little bit hungry, so I'm going to grab myself something to eat. Um, we might be back a little later with Way of the Hunter. Uh, just watch the channel. Um, and, uh, yeah, because I'd like to make up for a stream for us cutting it short last night. But thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you all have a fantastic day if you don't join me later on. And uh, we'll see you next time, guys.